Good evening and welcome everybody to our virtual 2021 Patricia Sullivan Benefit. My name is Johnny Holiday. I'm not emceeing the show alone tonight because last year you saw him and you loved him and he's back again with us tonight to be my co mc and I speak of the great Matt Vicka. It is good to see you again. I saw the video from last year. You were magnificent. Oh, you were you. tremendous. And nice to have you alongside tonight. In case I make any mistakes, you can help me out. I really appreciate that. Thank, thank you very much. Okay, great to have you here with us tonight, Matt. I hear you. <laughs> it is great to be here tonight. I am so happy to be hosting with my favorite broadcaster of all time voice, the of the Maryland Terps. Are you kidding, Matt? I'm your favorite broadcaster of all time? Wow, yes, does, that, you, yes. does that make me feel good? Yes, it does. Well, I tell you something, you could be in broadcasting with that voice you got. You could be up there in the booth calling those Maryland games just like I do, and maybe better than I do. Yes, how about, <laughs> how about that? Don't do it too good though, Matt. I won't. This virtual benefit is an opportunity to bring all the PCR community together to celebrate our members, to showcase their talents, and honor our awardees, and raise support for PCR's mission. I've served as Master of Ceremonies for a number of events over the years, but without question, being with the Patricia Sullivan benefit is at the very top of my list. I'm also familiar with the work of PCR to promote the inclusion of individuals with developmental differences into all aspects of community life through innovative social and recreational and respite care programs and through the James M. Sullivan Memorial House and through advocacy efforts as well. And tonight we'll hear from PCR's founding chairman, good friend of yours, good friend of mine, my senior John Ensler will be with us tonight. We'll also have the opportunity to learn from PCR member parents what PCR programs mean to them and their families. We'll also be joined by Brian Sullivan, which is the president of the PCR board, who will also be presenting our awards and from the award recipients we'll hear from as well. And we are lucky tonight to enjoy not one, but two musical performances by PCR members. Now, Matt, I know you're an active member of PCR. What's your favorite part about being a PCR member? Great question. Well, I love the PCR beach. Halloween and hol holiday parties and the summer um, barbecues. Barbecues. Yep. That's my favorite. Yep. I have fun at Stew 3F. That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. I exercise at PCR's AMACE exercise program and I enjoy all of PCR's weekly videos. You're into a lot of different things. All the things that PCR offers, you basically take advantage of, and oh, you love it. Thank you. You're very welcome. I appreciate it. Let's get it. started now. We hope you enjoy the virtual 2021 Patricia Sullivan Benefit. Munubai family is so excited to be a part of the PCR family. Thank you so much for the virtual programming that you've done. Absolutely awesome. But there's something that's even better or that matches the virtual programming, and that's your response to the pandemic. PCR was seamless in providing that switch from in-person programming to virtual programming. You did not miss a beat. We are so grateful for everything that you do. Thank you and we love you. Matt, how about introducing our chairman, Father John Ensler? Sure. Father John started PCR. I know Father John from Blessed Sacrament. I see Father John at the PCR parties. Father John gives great high fives. Here is my friend, Father John. Thank you, Johnny and Matt, for that fabulous introduction. But most of all, for serving as our Masters of Ceremonies tonight, 
two good friends who've done this for us once again. This particular benefit brings together all of us to celebrate our members and their families and showcase their talents, and recognize the contributions they make to our mission by dedicated volunteers, staff, members, and community partners. I'd congratulate in a special way three different groups of people tonight. Conley School of the Holy Child for Outstanding Community Partner, Luke Schaefer, our key outstanding youth volunteer, and Seth Duncan and Melissa Wyman, outstanding staff members. All of these groups and individuals have made a big difference for us last year, particularly during the pandemic. Back in 1994, Jim and Joan Sullivan came to me, I was pastor at Lady Mercy Parish, and said, what can we do for young people, our family members, who have a developmental difference? And we worked with them to design a program that has become a, really a model program for this area. For the past 27 years, PCR has grown and changed, creating award-winning programs in the, the James M. Sullivan Memorial House and helping to start new community organizations all throughout the Washington area, up in Gaithersburg, down in Southern Maryland, in D.C., all that's taking place. And what's the key thing? Providing care, respect, and visual attention. That's our key cultural effort. That's our mission statement, to do those things. PCR's culture of care is its defined characteristic and proudly part of that in a very special way. I'm also proud of PCR's response to the pandemic by creating virtual programs and 100 music, art, and fitness videos to keep our members engaged and active. By adding Spanish language, American Sign Language, resource for families, we continue to do more and more each year to celebrate each member's success. Today, one of our members is having a birthday. It's Maria Guadalupe McMurtry. Today, let's celebrate with her a very special birthday. And she and her friends who make PCR so special just by who they are. So I just sit back and enjoy the show. Happy birthday, Maria. Happy birthday, Maria. Happy birthday. Brian Sullivan is the son of Joan and Jim Sullivan, who founded PCR back in 1994. Brian joined the board in 2016. Three years later, in 2019, became the president of PCR. And they got a wonderful, he's from a wonderful family, Matt. 
Brian and his wife, Jen, and their whole family volunteer at PCR's Christmas party. And they are lots of fun. Here's Brian. Thank you, Matt and Johnny. It's been a pleasure for me to witness the growth PCR has experienced since the 1994 conversation that Father John had with my parents. What began 27 years ago as a family's wish for opportunities for a loved one has developed into a caring and impactful community that I am proud to be a part of. Today, PCR is an award-winning nonprofit that promotes the full inclusion of persons with developmental differences into all aspects of community life. We work to achieve our mission by serving our members and their families through our social, recreational, and respite care programs throughout Montgomery County, through our public policy advocacy, and through our James M. Sullivan Memorial House. PCR has successfully adjusted to the new public health environment by creating innovative virtual programs, and our members have responded enthusiastically. PCR's program excellence, operational efficiency, governance, and stewardship have earned us recognition six times by the Catalog for Philanthropy as one of the best small charities in our region. Since our founding, Our Lady of Mercy Catholic Church has sustained us, providing free office space and program venues, and supporting PCR in many ways. We are very grateful to the wonderful Mercy Parish community. PCR values our 27-year partnership with Montgomery County and appreciates the support that the County Executive and the County Council provide for our members and our mission. I would like to recognize and thank PCR's wonderful volunteers, program leaders, and program staff for their service to our members, and to thank PCR staff members Patricia Medeiros, Seth Duncan, Melissa Wyman, Janice Sensolo, Naomi Chernick Berman, Jennifer Sullivan, and Steve Riley for their dedicated work. There would be no PCR without the vision and commitment of our founding chairman, Monsignor John Ensler. Father John has been the guiding force for PCR since its inception and we are very grateful to him. We look forward to thanking him in person at our 25th annual Patricia Sullivan Benefit on April 9, 2022. PCR makes an enormous difference in the lives of our members and their families, and your generosity makes our work possible. On behalf of everyone at PCR, I thank you for your support. Hi, I'm Kathy Pope, and I am the mother of Heather Dressman, who is now 30 years old and has been attending PCR for nine years. The first time we ever took Heather to PCR, she really just sobbed her heart out. She was upset because it was a different environment. So the PCR staff came out to console me and tell me this is a change. It's the first time. So will you please bring Heather back? So I said, sure. And we came back and Heather seemed to have settled down and she enjoyed the music, the art project, the nap, the petting the dog. There were several activities for Heather to do and I was able to have five hours to myself. I am eternally grateful for PCR in the fact that they have made Heather's life better, more enjoyable, and they've made mine more enjoyable as well. Uh, I truly, truly hope that you will support PCR in all their endeavors in helping special needs adults. Thank you so much. And now we're very excited to introduce the presentation of awards tonight. PCR's collaboration with two dozen community partners are the foundation of PCR's success. PCR's work would not be possible without the dedication of many volunteers and many tremendous staff members. It's a pleasure for PCR to recognize these contributions with our special 2021 awards. Why don't you bring Brian Sullivan back? Introduce Brian again, Matt. Here's Brian.
Collaborations with two dozen nonprofits, schools, faith congregations, and clubs form the foundation of PCR's success, broadening our reach and deepening our impact throughout Montgomery County. Our partnership with Conley School of the Holy Child, which began when PCR was founded in 1994, is the oldest and most productive. Holy Child hosts our annual Halloween party, holiday party, and winter beach party, offering hundreds of our members and their families warm and welcoming hospitality. The Best Buddies chapter at Holy Child partners with PCR in offering social and recreational programs and at statewide events sponsored by Best Buddies International and other disability rights organizations. The respect, enthusiasm, energy, and joy that Holy Child students bring to their interactions with PCR members is amazing to experience. The friendships that are formed between PCR members and Holy Child students are enjoyable for all involved and often last for many years after the students have graduated, enriching our members' lives. Holy Child's leadership, faculty, and staff create a culture in the school community that values the inherent dignity of individuals with developmental differences, treats them with respect, and lives the Holy Child motto, actions, not words. PCR is delighted to recognize the many ways that the Holy Child community's actions make PCR's members' lives richer, happier, and fulfilled. And to present our 2021 Outstanding Community Partner Award to Conley School of the Holy Child. Holy Child is so appreciative of this community award and recognition from PCR. Over 27 years of building relationships, our girls have not only benefited from all the engagement that they have with PCR, but actually, the Best Buddies Club is the most vibrant and engaging and active club on our campus. Our girls get so much from the members from PCR, and it is our honor and our privilege to be able to work with such a wonderful institution. Thank you so much for this wonderful recognition and award. Hi, my name is Dorothy. We have a son named Willie who has disabilities and lives at home with us. On Friday, March 13th of 2020, the world as we knew it ended. Because of COVID-19, we had to stop all of our usual activities outside of our home. Willie, who was 32 years old at the time, had a hard time coming to terms with our new reality. He missed all of his activities, including his PCR classes and social activities. In April 2020, we discovered that PCR had begun to post art, exercise, and music YouTube videos online. Our son was able to listen to and watch songs sung by his PCR music teacher, Amy. We signed our son up to take art, communication counts, notables, yoga, and Studio 3F. Willie had been wanting to try yoga, but before the pandemic, it was offered at an inconvenient time and location for us. So this was a great way to give the class a try online. PCR made Studio 3F successful and fun by mixing it up with different monthly activities, including bingo, dance parties, and arts and crafts. PCR has been instrumental in keeping him from feeling totally isolated until the time he can be back together again with his friends in person. Thank you to PCR for all that you do and for all that you have done for Willie and us, his family. Luke volunteers at PCR's weekly Notables music program, playing guitar and singing, accompanying program leader Amy Gardner, and performing songs requested by our members. Luke does much more than simply share his considerable musical talents with our members, however. He engages enthusiastically and actively with them, taking the time and making the effort to ensure that their participation in our Notables program is enjoyable and meaningful. Luke's love of music is infectious, and creates a joyful program where our members feel that their own musical talents are valued and appreciated. A member of the Georgetown Prep class of 2023, Luke's extracurricular activities include baseball and golf, the chess and ping pong clubs, the music enthusiast club, and the prep jazz band. He plays classical and electric guitar and is a member of the band Long Lost Cousins, which has entertained guests at several Patricia Sullivan benefits. 
Luke's generosity in sharing his time and musical talents with our members, the respect and mature manner in which he works with them, and his commitment to helping PCR navigate the challenges imposed by the pandemic all merit recognition. Luke Schaefer is a credit to his family and to his school and to its Jesuit value of being a man for others. PCR is pleased to present our 2021 Outstanding Youth Volunteer Award to Luke Schaefer. First off, thank you guys so much. I am so honored to be receiving this award. From everybody from Notables, Amy, Seth, and Michael, thank you guys so much. You were so welcoming to me from when I first came. And for all the members, thank you guys so much for letting me play guitar for you. I enjoy it so much. You guys are the best crowd to play for, and you give me so much confidence. So thank you guys so much, and thank you everybody from PCR. Hi, PCR members. My name is Isabel Matenji, and this is my son, Yanko Matenji. PCR has been a very useful service for our family, and in particular, Yanko. PCR actually was a rescue, you know, uh, for us. So Yanko uh, joined these uh, activities or programs for PCR, mainly he has been attending yoga, communication counts, uh, moving along, um, the social club, notables, and uh, also he has been receiving a number of uh, uh, communication from PCR uh, with the videos that he could do on, by himself. PCR has been a lifesaver for us at the time when everybody else uh, is worried about the pandemic. So, Yanko, what do you say? I... What do you say? Say thank you. Thank. What do you say? I... Can you say thank you to Mr. Seth and Miss Melissa? Uh, hi. Okay, so we say, he says thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you, PCR for all the good work you continue to do uh, for us. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you say thank you? Uh. Thank you. Melissa Wyman joined PCR in May 2014 as our program coordinator and was promoted in 2016 to her current position as Respite Care and Community Engagement Director. She manages PCR's flagship program, the award-winning Tricia Sullivan Respite Care Program, and is responsible for PCR's community outreach efforts, including resource fairs, our community partner relationships, and volunteer recruitment, training, and management. During COVID, Melissa planned and implemented PCR's new virtual transition times monthly information sessions for families and created and starred in our new five-part video series that explains Maryland Developmental Disabilities Administration programs and how to access them. Both these new virtual programs are offered with Spanish and American Sign Language interpretation, making them accessible to previously unserved members of the developmental differences community throughout Maryland. Melissa is a certified therapeutic recreation specialist and holds Bachelor of Science and Master of Science degrees in Recreation and Parks Management from Frostburg State University. Melissa is active in professional organizations serving in leadership positions in the Maryland Recreation and Parks Association, the American Therapeutic Recreation Association, and the Team Up for One Foundation. We are delighted to recognize Melissa Wyman's professionalism and dedication to PCR's members and mission with our 2021 Outstanding Staff Member Award. Thank you so much for this honor. I'm so thankful to work at an organization with so much love and passion for making a difference. Through my years at PCR, I've worked with many PCR members, parents, professionals, volunteers, and staff that have truly made an impact in my life and have become a part of my family. Special thanks to the PCR administrative team for all of the support and guidance. I look forward to continuing to work hard to provide the best programs for our PCR members and their families.
Seth Duncan has worked at PCR for nearly 20 years, starting part-time as a direct care staff member at, at our Moving Along program and teaching a first aid class for our members. He joined PCR full-time in January 2004 and was promoted to program director in 2009. As program director, Seth plans and implements PCR's weekly programs and popular special events, collaborating with our program leaders to design our programs, working with our community partners to secure program venues, ensuring that our staff receive health and safety training that promotes our members' well-being, and creating a culture of respect and caring. Beginning in March 2020, he managed PCR's successful pivot to virtual programming caused by the pandemic. In addition to his program director responsibilities, at PCR, Seth served for seven years as advisor to the Holy Child Best Buddies chapter and represents PCR on the board of directors of Up County Community Resources and on the admissions committee of Montgomery College Graduate Transition Program, of which PCR is a co-founder. Seth attended St. John's College in Annapolis and holds a Bachelor of Arts degree, a Master of Science degree in nonprofit and association management, and a Master of Business Administration degree, all from the University of Maryland. A devoted dad, Seth is often ably assisted at PCR programs by his three lovely young daughters, McKenna, Siobhan, and Ainsley, who are very popular with everyone at PCR. Seth's steady demeanor, warm personality, and wonderful sense of humor make him a favorite among our members, volunteers, and staff. In recognition of his dedicated work that benefits our members and advances our mission, PCR is pleased to award our 2021 Outstanding Staff Member Award to Seth Duncan. Thank you, Brian. I am truly honored by this award and would like to thank the PCR administrative team of Steve, Patricia, Melissa, Naomi, Janice, and Jen. I'd also like to thank the program leaders, staff, and volunteers that I have the pleasure of working with every day, and especially the PCR members and their families. And to everyone watching this, thank you. It is your support that allows all of us at PCR to continue to provide high quality services to our members and to support their families. Thank you again and enjoy the evening. We hope you enjoyed our virtual benefit tonight and circled your calendar right now for April 9th of 2022. We'll all be back in person for our 25th annual Patricia Sullivan Benefit. I want to thank my co-host tonight, our co-MC, Matt Ficka. I could not have done this without your help. You were absolutely fabulous. Thank you, my man. You're quite welcome, my man. Thank you for enjoying us tonight, and thank you for su supporting PCR. That's a wrap. <laughs>